Hi guys, what's up? It's Bia, the artist of Tinkalila Arts. Today I'm sharing with you this drawing I did recently that I'm really proud of, and it's called Phone Psychic. I originally started making this piece for a November art challenge that I'm participating in. It's called Inspo by Lydia Allen, and it's an art prompt list with inspiration for each day of November. And the prompt that this was based on was pink. This was super open-ended, just draw anything pink. So I thought of like the pink rotary phone, which I feel like was a trend in my childhood in the early 2000s. I definitely saw it in media a few times. So I drew this rotary phone with a hand reaching for it, and that was probably gonna be the whole drawing, and I wasn't even sure if I was gonna shade it or anything, but then I had this idea of like the telephone psychic, which is a psychic that does readings over the phone. So at that point, I just had to make this whole little piece. The idea of the phone psychic with this retro phone and bright pinks and reds, I thought it would just be so cute and kitschy and gaudy. To kind of signal that this drawing has a bit of a spooky vibe and that this isn't just someone reaching for a phone, I incorporated a lot of symbols into this piece. There are tarot cards in the bottom left corner, candles, this Victorian looking portrait in the background, and the hand is sort of floating in midair kind of signaling that maybe this psychic isn't even corporeal, maybe she's a ghost. I really wanted to leave a lot up to interpretation in this drawing. The Victorian portrait especially is quite mysterious. It could be an image of the psychic herself, or maybe a ghost that she is in contact with. This drawing actually has a couple of references to my other art and projects that I've done in the past. In the bottom left corner, the tarot cards are from a tarot card project I designed before. It was called the Pastel Rainbows Tarot Deck. And there is a little heart-shaped note card that I add onto the left side of the image, overlapping the border that I add to make it look like it's pinned on top of the image. And on that note card, there is an illustration of an eye. And that eye is the same one that was featured prominently on the VG Planchette Eda bag which is a project of mine that I'm super proud of. It was the first bag I ever designed and it had a successful Kickstarter campaign and I was able to send out 200 of those bags to you guys. That's a really fond memory for me. So I love that I was able to fit that reference in. In this last bit, you can see me adding in that heart note card I mentioned. The idea with this was to make it kind of look like an advertisement, like this illustration is pinned up somewhere and this note is pinned on top of it saying phone psychic and maybe on the back is written her phone number and call now. At the end here, you can see me just playing with textures, adding colored layers, and putting in my signature, just little finishing touches. This is the final piece. You can see that I added this lovely paper texture to the whole piece, and also on the heart note on the side. There is one thing I wanted to ask for your opinion on. This is the version of the heart note that I ended up using for the piece when I posted it on social media. But I actually also made this version of it, where it's a little more realistic. I removed the line around the whole shape so it just has that softer drop shadow. And I also made the little round pin at the top more realistic with the light hitting it and by removing those thicker cartoony lines. I liked this idea because I thought the contrast between the very illustrative image versus the more realistic pinned note might be interesting, but ultimately I went with the other one because I thought it was more cohesive. Let me know in the comments which of these two versions do you prefer? Thank you for watching. Let me know if you guys might be interested in prints of this piece. I've never done prints on my shop before, but if you guys are interested, I might do it because I really love this piece. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Tinkalila. See you next time. If you like speed paints, you should check out this video next where I do a draw this in your style challenge. See you there.